It's his new album live on Spotify. I don't see it here in Canada either. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I spelling that shit wrong? Sure am. I was spelling it like Drake the artist. Drake? Drake? <laughs> Soldier Boy's kind of a meme now, right? Clearly, Drake. Kind of just doing shit to stay relevant. But back in 2005, 2006 to like, oh, 2010, he honestly did pioneer a lot of shit. All right, so we got Soldier Boy and Designer. Soldier Boy Bow Wow. Soldier Boy Amarion. Like, what? what's happening here? Am I back in high school? What's the deal? All right, for real this time, Soldier Boy Tell Him, Big Draco, 2021, 12 songs, 26 minutes and 59 seconds. First track is a bop. Quite literally, that's the name of the song. See, so what, in case y'all don't understand the interpretation, let me break it down for you. The bop. And that's it. She make it bop. Not gonna lie, this beat is fucking hard. This beat is crazy. That's one of the things about Soldier Boy. You could try to hate him. You could try to talk shit about his music. This comes on in the club. You wanna get hype? This is it right here. Free from my chain and I'm shooting off top. But that uh. VB a Cardi A watch. Nigga be snitching and friendly and talking. I'm like, come here and thank my power to get that boy got. Kind of does have some bars right now. I can't even hate on the boy. He said, I'm like, Kanye, I got the power. No one man should have all that power to get that boy got. This song's kind of fire. She make it. Bop, bop, bop. Oh my god, this 808 is going crazy. All right, I need to know how y'all are feeling about this one before I tell you what's up on my side. One to ten, how we feeling about bop? Is it a bop? A solid two? Five for Swar, seven for Skunkies, solid six, no cap. Let me tell you, I'm about to rate this way higher than you're expecting to. You gotta remember when you're going into Soldier Boy, you're, you're not to be expecting any kind of fucking lyrical miracle or any kind of lyricism whatsoever. He In the bars that he did, <laughs> I, I will say, about 50 seconds of the track was him saying bop. But when he did spit, it was decent. I don't believe what he's saying. I don't believe he's got a 30 round clip in the Glock that he just has ready to go to shoot the ops. I don't, I don't think he's that dude. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. But it is a bop. As he said, I'm giving this like a six and a half right here. If, I, if someone handed me the ox at the party and was like, yo, you're in charge of the music. And then I put this bitch on, the party going crazy. This the shit is for the shit is for the generation. The, you know what? You know what Big Draco's album is right here for me? This album right here is like when they made The Incredibles Part 2. Like nobody's going to give a fuck about this except for the people that were that saw him be the artist that he was when he put out Crank That Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? Like this isn't for the kids. This is for the 32-year-olds like me. This is for the people that graduated before 2010. That was a bop as he told you. All right, next up I'm excited for this one because I haven't heard shit from Bow Wow either since fucking when when Soldier Boy was was popping. All right, Bow Wow versus Soldier Boy is the name of the track. Let's go. Say something crazy about me and Soldier, then we at your neck. Whoa. Niggas is claiming my old work, man. I had Kim K with Soldier, don't crank that. It's 2021, me and Draco. He's trying to sound like Meek Mill. Meek Mill already on his own is annoying, much less somebody else trying to be Meek Mill. <laughs> Man, I'm too big to be stuck in the middle, man. Dodge just show me who your boss is. Where? No, hey. I don't follow. Fuck, I look like taking orders from niggas. I like all y'all rappers. I own my shit. Soldier uh. cool women. R&B bitches, I'm smashing. Bro. I might pull up with a Braxton. Sorry, I'm in a two. R&B bitches, I'm smashing. I might pull up with a Braxton. Tony Braxton was fine back in the 90s. Bow Wow's verse did get better toward the end. He kind of got like a little rhythm, kind of got in his little pocket there. Uh still don't believe anything that he's saying the ice on the cross that's so that's so basic that's such that's such an elementary style of rhyme how many rappers have said that how many rappers have said i don't fuck with religion but i put her in some louboutins how many rappers have said i ice out the cross so jesus is cold now you know it was decent he said we shoot people no you fucking don't stop lying to me all right all right we're done with this song how are we feeling about that one the beat is fire i will give you that the beat's fire hey y'all like my shirt i don't know if y'all saw the shirt 
my boy's a DJ on Twitch and IRL, and his name is Ray Burger, and this is his logo. It's literally a disco ball burger. It's fucking fire. Burger reminds me of a Krabby Patty. That's actually what he was going for. Anybody seen that uh, SpongeBob episode where the Krabby Patty like pulls in slowly and he's like, and like and it's like for a minute. That's where he got the design idea from. It's five out of 10. The first one moved up to a seven out of 10. I actually think this one's not even five. I think this is like a four out of 10. The eight bars that he gave us in Bop are better than this entire song. That's just me. So this is like a four. Bop was a seven for me in soldier boy's world you know what i'm saying putting a seven from dave up against a seven from soldier boy it's apples to oranges bitch that phrase don't make no sense why can't fruit be come it's not even close like i'm i can't put i can't pit soldier boy against lyricists next up we got revenge let's go hey back in the trap where i want some revenge walk in the dope where i just can't a hit trying to diss by the bitch where you sound like a sick i've been fucking on that bitch all right so I don't want to sound like I'm hating on Soulja Boy because I this dude r ran my fucking teenage years. So I'm not hating because I'm a fan of Soulja and his antics. But this right here, he is not pulling off the offbeat style delivery. Like he's trying to do what Pooh Shicey does. He's trying to do what Lil Durk does where they like rap, but they're kind of offbeat because they're talking and yelling, but they are on beat. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not working for me right here. I kind of fuck with the hook. If there's anything that I could ask for Soldier Boy is to give me a good... And, and to be honest, that might be why I didn't like Balbo versus Soldier Boy because it didn't have a hook to redeem the lack of bars. That was that was hard though. Three million dollars yesterday on my cell phone waiting. Clean. Revenge. Revenge. Send the location. I'm ready to spin. Revenge. I do like that. Send the location. I'm ready to spin. And then the and then the beat comes back in. Hey, Big Kev. I love I love dirty beats too. It clearly has like heavy handed 808. It's it's grimy. Is what it is. It feels like it feels heavy. And I like that. But Soldier Boy is just not that not that type of lyricist. I'm not and again, I'm not rating Soldier Boy against anybody else besides his former self, I guess you could say. But you know what this sounds like? <sighs> Here's the analogy I'm going to give you. Somebody is running the cocaine game, right? He's a Don. He's a, like in the 80s. He's the man. But he gets popped and then goes to jail for 30 years. And when he comes back out, the world is completely different and he's trying to adapt to the new world, but he can't because he's not from this world. That's what this sounds like right now. This sounds like Soldier Boy ran the 2005s, 2010s, went missing for 20 years, and, and he's trying to come back and create the sound, but it doesn't fit him. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody feel that way? Is that a good analogy? So how are we feeling about revenge? One to 10. Oh, Nervations said one. Kyler said four. Uh, Matthew said L out of 10. Pretty says four, one, one. I'm, I'm thinking like four. Nah, I'm probably thinking three. I'm probably thinking three if I'm being honest, just because the verses, I didn't like them. And and it's not that I don't like this style of music. I clearly like Lil Durk. I like Pooh I like all those dudes. It's just, it doesn't fit Soldier Boy right here for some reason. Next up, we got Trackhawk. We gonna sh be shitting on him all day? No, Swar. I want the album to be solid. I, I want to like this because I was a big fan of Soldier Boy back in the day. And I do think that he did actually pioneer a lot of shit. All right, let's get it. Go. That's a hundred shots, nigga. That's a hundred blocks. Moving that pot so hard. Hold on. So do I feel this way about these songs? Because I don't believe what Soldier Boy's saying in terms of like, a I believe he has weapons, but I don't believe that he's actually about killing people. You don't believe the agenda he's trying to push because he's not from that life. Exactly real. He might have been back before he blew up in 07 or 06. But right now, I don't think that he's about that life. Dude is big Draco Malfoy. Did he say play with the pussy like he plays with Play-Doh? Is that really what he said? I could have swore I heard that. Play with a pussy jet like Play-Doh. Shoot it on. This man said play with the vagina like Play-Doh. And makes sense because these rhymes are elementary and that's where you get introduced to Play-Doh. God damn. Soldier, 
You know what the problem is? The problem is he's trying to rap in a style that's popular today, but there's a lot of rappers that are doing it better than this. This sounds like this isn't what Soldier Boy does, but he's trying to hop on the wave, you know? <laughs> Skunky. Man's tried to hop in the lane, but bowled the gutter to the next lane over. See right there, he said, he said Trailhawks skirted off the lot. Twin Turbo Panamera Porsche should cost a lot. It's decent. I don't mind that. Clock is a switch, but I won't switch, nigga. Catch it at the stop sign. We a get with ya. Brrr, pay them games with the games. We a... Uh, what the fuck was that? So you're telling me. You're telling me the world doesn't know who you are. This is your introduction into the mainstream world. Your one chance to shine. You hop on Soldier Boy's album. And this is your showing out? To show to the world, you wrote these 16 bars and we're like, my IG's about to blow up. Draco hit your block loudly, your mama quack. We are sliding them, let them lummas rap. The best line right there was the last two bars. The Draco so loud made your mama cry. We gonna slide on them and let the llamas ride. Llama is another Draco. Draco is another thing for gun. That was the best line of the entire fucking song. All right, so I don't know. I don't know anything about the feature. I don't know if he actually whips pots, which is like turning cocaine into crack rock with baking soda, and you cook it up. But I know for sure, Soldier Boy does not. How are we feeling? One to ten. All right, so what do we got? The Zoots, first time chatter. Welcome in. Big Kev says one. First time chatter one. Rini zero. Parky two. Cut my ear off out of ten. Van Gogh type beat. I'm gonna give it. I'm giving it a two. Out of all the things Soldier Boy could rap about. He decides that he wants to try to rap like he's a trapper. He wants to act like he's got it out the mud. Maybe he did get it out the mud back in the day, but Soldier Boy's been a millionaire for at least 15 years. You have not touched crack rock. Even if you did before that, you haven't done it in 15 years. The pussy and Play-Doh bar is the worst, is the reason why it's as low as it is on its own. He does have a brain for marketing. He does know what he's doing. He's smart. He's a smart businessman, even if it seems like it's gimmicky. The gimmicky nature is the thing, is the marketing. But this right here is not it. I don't believe a single thing that Soldier Boy is saying in these songs. The Play-Doh line kills me as a girl, and that's an exact, like what? That does, how do you even correlate vagina with Play-Doh? I don't get it. Next up, no games. It's a bird, it's a bullet, it's a plane. What's playing that watch it be looking so lame? I be shitting on niggas, I be playing Xbox. He said the plane watches be looking so plain and so lame. This is how I know Soldier Boys from 2006. When everybody was icing out the Rollies. When everybody was buying Jacob and Company watches. No one likes that shit anymore. That's not the wave. The wave is to buy a $200,000 Patek Philippe or a $250,000 Richard Mill and keep it plain. That, that's, that's the wave in jewelry. Keep that shit quintessential. This is what I mean, yo. You will never, ever, ever, ever be worth 30 million, little nigga, that cause you was lame. Oh, no little nigga, you broke the fuck are you lame. I've been in the trap for so long. Bust out my chain. Huh? Soldier, you don't do this. The world knows that this is not who you are. Soldier Boy has the same amount of gangster in him as I do. Why is he trying to be this? The thing that made Soldier Boy popular in the in the mid 2000s was the fact he wasn't gangster rap. Like back then, 50 Cent, Memphis Bleak, it, he was a standout away from gangster rap. So now that he's back 10 years, 12 years later, he's trying to go back into gangster rap, which he didn't start with at the beginning. Like what? If, why? Hold on, I've been in the trap for so long. Bust out my chain, it look like a snow cone. Break and shoot two to three bullets, gon' hit out the studio. We taking shots, I'm gonna open my Glock, it gon' taste like you sippin' on Tito. I bet on hundred every stash in a Winnebago. Rah! I mean, there was he tried to do wordplay right there. He tried to do a couple things up in the shots, like you're taking shots of vodka, but shots in the end zone and shots with the with the. It's just I don't know, yo. It's not great. And again, I'm not trying to be a hater. I like this style of rap, just not from Soldier Boy. Playing, what's down, Kanye? Yeah, bitch, ain't no playing James. Don't play Xbox, but don't be really no playing no game. I be two to three bullets up, blow out that brain. It's a grab on my chopper, I'm aiming that head, I'm busting that brain. For the style of music that he's trying to put out, the beats are solid. But Soldier Boy, I just first off, I don't believe anything that he's saying. I was I, what I was expecting. I was expecting braggadocious Soldier Boy saying that like he pioneered a lot of shit, but. uh... That's not what I got. 
I got this soldier boy. So far, the only track that I like is Bop. All right, next up, I'm back. Oh, up a hundred shots, watch his body drop. Lambo years, yeah, I'm back. Bitch, I'm serious. Take out jail like fast and fear. Money ass, nigga, call you George, cause you cured. Nigga. Bitch, you suck <laughs> dick. If Monkey ass, I'll call you George cause you curse, bruh. Bitch, you sucking dick if you on your period. I made that Draco to the right of me. Rhyme with that Mac Now I got boy Draco on one cut throat. Reef on my chain, you get smoke. Boom, 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 a bomb. Uh, I need your spirit. I'm sorry that I'm subjecting God to this. Does he, does he sound off beat to anyone else? That is a purposeful stylistic choice that he's making, Reason. It is a style of rap. Here, look, I'll show you. Who took that shit from you? Come get it back in blood. Nigga who ain't got shit going, go grab a glizzy, get alert. See, so like this is the style of rap that he's trying to emulate on his on his album. He, he just doesn't do it anywhere near as good as anybody in that song. Shut the fuck up, I ain't trying to walk on the Roma in the trial. Shipping packs, but I got it back. Yeah, take a break, then karate chop. Been on the lean, got me delirious. All right, that's the end of the song. Obviously, the production is solid. I fuck with the production heavy. Like, I like the beat. I'm from I'm from the South. I'm from Texas. I'm from San Antonio. San Antonio generally, like, gravitates toward Houston style of rap. And then we go further and go into Mississippi, like Big Crit. It's just, this is not Soulja Boy style, and I don't understand why he's rapping like this. When was the last time, if ever, y'all guys think Soulja Boy saw a brick of cocaine? A brick is a kilogram, 2.2 pounds. That is enough cocaine to put you away for like 40 years. When is the last time you think Soldier Boy saw one of those and actually was like, I know how to whip the Pyrex and the pot? Big Kev, 2003? And even then, he probably wasn't the one with the brick. He, If he was distributing, he was probably like lower down the chain. But yeah, I, I just don't believe what Soldier is saying right here. You can't go and be a marketing meme and be an internet culture and then out of nowhere, Rap like you're a gangster rapper. All right, that right there, another three for me, maybe. And the three is only for the uh, the three is only for the uh, for the production. Just got back from a meeting. What did I miss? Literally nothing, Arius. Literally nothing. Does anybody fuck with designer? First off, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. He be wishing for a burner. Kill everybody walking. You know that it's on the first. Trapping so hard. Hard. Trapping so hard. I've been trapping so hard. All right. So this beat is a fucking 10. Right out the gate. Matthew, I hate it when someone repeats the same sentence in the chorus. I can, I can respect that agreement, Matthew. And I, and I do agree, generally speaking. But when it comes to trap music, it's like a signature thing in the sound of trap music. And this is clearly a trap song. I can't knock the fact that he's repeating himself because that is one of the, that is, that is a key feature in trap music. I pull a nigga card, smoke on the internet. I was in the trap, cooking crack, selling hard. Aston Martin, AR-15, blow your whole car. In a belly truck, nigga, this'll push the start. I don't know if y'all know, if y'all follow me on Twitter, but about three to four months ago, I said that rappers need to stop fucking bragging about push to start. I had a push to start in my 2012 Ford Focus. That is not a flex. That's like bragging about a rear view camera. Every fucking car has it now. You could say something else about the Bentley besides the push to start. I got champagne ice cooler in the middle of my console. I got suede on the roof. Out of all the things in a $600,000 SUV, you're bragging about the one thing that every car in 2021 has. Huh? Bulletproof, who the fuck is you? Bitch, I call my name, am my name the trending top pick on gang. So no, you haven't. So no, you haven't. So you liar. He said, I be rubbing on the money, giving it a massage. <laughs> Alright, the hook wasn't bad for what it was. It's a trap song, so you have to remember that's part of the style of, of trap music. Designer's part was decent. He, he was more audible and, cl and clearer than he was on Panda and Timmy Turner for that matter. But it's just, Soldier Boy doesn't trap. 
Trap It So Hard is probably the best song that we've heard since Bop. And it's not good when Designer comes on as the feature and saves the track. Ten Girls in the Lobby. Let's get after it. Yeah, Omarion. Icebox type beat. I swear to God, Soldier Boy is like, his mind is still in, his heart actually is still in 2006, but his mind is trying to be in 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten Girls in the Lobby. Yeah, it's not like paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. Black Star with his with his comment on the four months, which I appreciate you by the way. Sounds better than Ice JJ Fish. That motherfucker is from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, something about chicken. The one artist to make it out of San Antonio. This is the guy to go viral, putting on for SA's music scene. God damn it, no but no wonder nobody respects us. Ten girls in the lobby. Is Amarian trying to rap right now? Is he honestly trying to rap? Out of all things that you could do, you're gonna do the one thing that nobody knows you for? Got you wet and wet. Two girls in the library on the way up to the private party. It's Bella Diamonds, case I saw. I took off in the Aston Martin. Amarian could have done so much more right here. All right, let me know. Let me know if y'all agree with me here. But this is this is the best hook on the on the album so far. Bop was a good hook just because it was a vibe. But sonically, this is the best hook on the album. It is catchy. Ten girls in the lobby, skirting that new Bugatti. You know what I'm saying? It's catchy. I fuck with it. I like the melody in the background too. Like I like that little note in the background. That's nice. How do we feel about Ten Girls in the Lobby? Again, solid hook. That beat I do like because it was lighter. One out of ten, you're giving four. I'm probably giving around a four, maybe five. Gimme, you're giving it a six. I'm actually probably gonna give it about a five because the beat is different. It could have been higher if Omarion sang. I think I fuck with that one a little bit. All right, next up, lacking. This could either be. Don't get caught lacking or I'm going to pop you with my guns that I'm talking about because I'm a gangster, even though I've never portrayed that in my music of any time. Or you could be talking about Cadillac. We'll see. Did I call it or did I call it? And why is he giving this offbeat delivery, bro? Just say catch it lacking. Catch it lacking. Like say it on beat. It would sound so much better if it was just a bop. Catch up brother lacking. Yeah. Catch up brother lacking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blue face syndrome. He rhymed perp, shirt, hurt, dirt. This would be like in a board game where I got to write down in a 60 seconds, the amount of things that I can think to rhyme with shirt. These are the first four that I would think of. Big chopper pop out, bye bye. Niggas know what's happening. Panic up my chopper static. Boom, a hundred, boom, down all the men. No one with a bad bitch. AK 47, make a nigga do a bad flip. Push Panamera, chop the fucking roof off. Okay, so that one line about Rudolph and put a put the red beam on the, on like shooting him in his head, that is a decent bar. Out of two minutes and 40 seconds, I would say two minutes of that was catch somebody lacking. All right, one out of 10, what are we feeling? You feeling three, Regal? Jake, you feeling two? Locke, you feeling one? Kyle, one? Frog, three? Swar, three? AK Rod? Oh, AK Roger, hello. First time chat, everybody, welcome in Roger into the chat. Hi, Roger. With a zero? Why would you say something so controversial, yet so brave? All right, next up we got Draco Walk. I'm assuming this is him talking about he shoots off the Draco to the ops and makes them do like a different type of walk because they're trying to dance around the bullets. I don't know yet. I'm serving good crap. John Key come back and they have a relapse. At the front door, they trying to get the good crap. I got 200 bags and I scrolled out the line. 200K when I made how I trap out the spot. Mm. Yeah. What in the fuck was that first 33 seconds of the song? Bad wood, greet the Draco, I'm staring. Matt, yellow, paint the McLaren. I'm a John Adder Coop, all the bad bitches staring. Putting birds in the city. I was selling pounds the whole pandemic. Shoot like Grand Theft Auto, nigga. I'm bust down VV, honey figures. Threw my pinky in the river because the because the uh, the diamond is as clear as water. Back in high school, all blowing anxiety in classes. Shitting on nigga molasses. Open the chop. Came up from trapping that Gucci bandana. Now I wake up, bulletproof the flannel. 
He's still talking about that same Gucci bandana. Dance in the mansion, bust down wristbands, South Miami, wet like jeans. I got cash, bread, panini. I got green grass, zucchini. This. I got cash, bread, panini. I got green grass, zucchini. Does this man know that zucchini is not a species of grass and that it's technically a squash? First rapper, I really mean it. Whatever what? they did, I did it. What? I just might go try to talk with yourself. Open a Glock on my chop and I snap like Draco. a pitcher. Draco, whoa, Draco. <laughs> Draco walk, walk, walk. Draco walk, Draco, Draco walk. He didn't say anything about what Draco walk was. Is that the swagger that he's walking with? Is he making the ops walk? I don't know. The best part of the song was that Draco walk part because the beat was nice with it. But the flow at the beginning? That right there. Nah, that ain't it. Regal, this is a four for you out of 10? I gotta know, tell me why it's a four. Album is disappointing, I don't like it, some of it flow, but the bits that, uh, yeah, okay, I can see that, Regal. Like the beginning part right there is holding back the ending part from being like a six. I can I can feel, feel that. Last track on the album, y'all ready? Yeah. This beat is crazy. This beat goes right here. We gon' hit by the ass, nobody named the man. We shoot out the real by the ass, no question. I just come down and they hit. Your bitch get hit. Nigga, I'ma shoot. I'm a young rich devil. Who the fuck is you? This ain't bad. This one is not bad. I like, I actually like the way that his cadence and his offbeat flow right here is perfect for this beat. This is, this is not bad at all. Burn out that push pen and marry, you know what we do. Turn that boy just to a go like Casper. The Lambo, the Urish was one go fast. I'm out in the club. He said, we're going to turn that boy into a ghost like Casper. The Lambo is a Urus, which is the Lambo SUV. We go faster. Those are so weak. I'm out in the club, the perp, kicking my ass. I'm cooking cocaine, straight glass. I got no hitters, they blitz, they come for nothing. I got no hell 15 with the glitch. That's a 10 minute finesse, the whole world, you can't have shit. How the fuck did he go and do this? Bitch, I go, baby, you know I'm the shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. One to ten, the last song, three and a half for me. If he had a hook right there, hit, 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 hit 30 times, that might have been a five. So, uh, one to ten, the whole album, nothing crazy inventive, nothing that no trap rapper hasn't already said, uh, nothing that I believe, first off, uh, in any of these songs. The only thing that I do believe is that he does have diamonds. He does have the Lamborghini Urus, which is a very, just a very popular SUV, probably the most popular hyper SUV. Uh, he does have guns, I do believe that, but does he use them anywhere besides the shooting range? And does he even go and do that? I'm not too sure. I don't believe he's a trapper in the slightest. So uh, the album as a whole, three or four. We started out so strong with Bop too. Listen to that. She make it bop, bop, all my chains go bop. That's hard, but everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna be giving this album. The 808s on bop are fire. I do agree, Kabir, that sets the whole song off. But the album is probably like a three at, at, at best. Sorry, Soldier Boy. Don't mean to shit on your album on your birthday. Happy birthday, my guy. Welcome to the 31. It's your birthday at 31. The album is 3.1.